The Sunny Flight Ship, loved by some and hated by others, but regardless of your opinion on it, there are two facts that are inescapable. One, it was the most important relationship in the first five books. I mean, come on, it was the only one that wasn't written in as a side plot. And two, despite that, it was never going to happen. And there's one reason why. Family. Well, to be more precise, the theme of family, as it played out in the Wings of Fire books. It's an idea that they come back to time and time again, that the dragons who are your family aren't the ones who are biologically related to you, they're the ones who are there for you, who care for you no matter what else is happening. Of course, with this being a central theme to the books, we see it over and over with the main cast. In almost every interaction where a comparison can be made, the Dragonettes of Destiny take better care of each other than their actual biological families do. For Sunny and Starflight to end up with each other would be a direct violation of this theme. Yes, it's true they aren't related to each other genetically, but because the book spends so much time establishing the five main characters as sharing a bond as close as, or even closer than family, it would, for all intents and purposes, be like a brother and sister ending up together. This is communicated not only implicitly to the readers, but also just directly by Sunny to the other dragonettes in book five. I'm not mad about the fake prophecy, or the talents stealing us, because without all of that, I wouldn't have grown up with you. And you're more important to me than anything. You're my brothers and sisters. You're my real family. She follows this heartfelt speech up with a direct thought about Starflight. Is that enough of an answer for him? I do love him. But, like a brother. And if you enjoyed that voice acting, leave a like, drop a comment. I wanted to try something new with this video, so let me know what you think. Importantly though, even if Sunny hadn't felt this way, because their relationship would directly go against the theme of found or chosen family, which the books worked so hard to develop, there's no way it would have fit in with the rest of the story. But, this raises a problem. Starflight, in the first four books, could accurately be described as obsessed with Sonny. Like, literally every time he's about to die, his brain is on Sonny. He's got a one-track mind, and it leads directly to his Sandwing crush. That in itself is fine, but it's incompatible with the themes established by the series. So how does Tui, the author, deal with this? By introducing Fate Speaker, the character who basically is Sonny, but raised with the alternate Dragonettes of Destiny who don't love or care for each other like a family. Fate Speaker, of all the alternates, is the only one who actually wants to be friends with the others. She's the only one who's nice, kind, and caring when she has every reason to be angry and bitter. If that's not something Sunny would do, I don't know what is. Beyond this, though, Sunny and Fate Speaker are directly connected to one another by glory when they first meet. But it must have been amazing to live with so many dragons from different tribes. Yes! I was always trying to figure out which tribe I was most like. But as strangely adorable as you two are, I need you to either go discover your twin souls elsewhere or focus on battle planning with me. Battle planning! Twin souls, Glory calls them. After this, Fate Speaker starts to slip more and more into Starflight's thoughts, balancing, then removing his obsession with Sunny as the plot goes on. Heck, he even stops to think about Fate Speaker during his confession to Sunny, and though he's a bit in denial at the time, he comes around eventually. So, to put this all together, in order to solve the problem of a main character relationship being in direct contrast with a main theme, the author introduces a new character who is essentially the same as the old one with a few different personality quirks, and foreshadows throughout that eventually Starflight is going to have a change of heart. And, true to the foreshadowing, a new ship sets sail, Star Speaker. And that is why Starflight and Sunny were never meant to be. And with that, thanks for watching. Hey, before you click away, if I could take just 11 more seconds of your time, start the timer, please. I really like talking about Wings of Fire, and I also like talking about things people like to listen to. So, if you have something you really want analyzed next, I would love to read your suggestions in the comments below. Oh, and have a great day. <laughs>